What's up everybody? This is the first golf vlog and it's the middle of pandemic COVID-19 and we drove an hour to William Land Park Golf Course in Sacramento from the Bay Area to check out what it's like to golf in a pandemic. So today we're going to talk about William Land golf course in Sacramento, California. And what's neat about William Land Golf Course is it's part of the William Land Park, which is near the Sacramento Zoo. Now, William Land was one of the few golf courses that in the height of COVID-19 restrictions and safety regulations stayed open. So that made it very interesting because this was my first ever COVID-19 golfing experience. The value price you have to pay to enter this nine holes is $20 or $15 for an adult. Now the fees may be different for seniors and juniors, I'm not sure, but it's around the $15 to $20 mark, which I think is very reasonable. And why it's important to talk about this course in this series is this is going to be a lot of great golfers entry point into the game of golf is a course like William Land. And William Land, what's nice about it is, on top of being accessible through a price point, it's a well thought out golf course that has aspects of shot making that you have to do in order to get a great score. What I found good was the uniqueness of certain holes. For example, the third hole, you have to hit a shot over a tree or shape a shot around a tree on a par three, which I think is very unique. I also appreciate that the course starts with a par three, which one of my first courses I ever played, Antelope Greens, did a similar thing. I think that the signature hole is the ninth hole, which for a guy that has a natural slice, or to put it nicely, a natural fade, it has a bunch of hazards to the right, but it's all playable. So you can relive memories of a player like Seve Ballesteros um, going through here. That is the good. It's well maintained, it's very fun, and it's creative. The bad for me is the fact that you're gonna have public, it's a public park, so people are going to walk through the golf course at any given time because I felt through my experience, even though it was early in the morning, people either are unaware that it's a golf course or don't care and will come between it. So if you're someone that wants privacy, that's not good. There are holes that are near busy streets. So if you don't feel that you have control on certain shots, you might even want to think about moving your ball because you could possibly hit your ball and it could go an undesirable distance and actually end up on a street. So if you have fears of these type of things, that's something to go into. So this first hole is a par three and what makes it tricky is there's a street behind the hole. So you gotta kinda pick the, pick the right club. There's a false front, there's two bunkers. It's just a tricky opening hole. on the first. You look that way, just a straightforward shot. Lots of ways to get in trouble. I'm gonna just try to bang one out there. We'll see what we got. So, decent drive, kind of pulled it. And now I got a pitching wedge in. There's two bunkers, if you look up there, there's two really, really bad bunkers that you don't want to be in either one of those. So, that is the goal. That's the club, that's gonna be good. Wow. So, came up short again, second hole. Not on the reg, but we're gonna get up and down from here. Okay, that might be a gimme. Rough first hole, but this chip shot got to here. COVID-19 golf, we're picking it up. I got a par. I think that's fair. Third hole at William Land is big tree, three bunkers, decent sized green, but it's really a neat shot for a municipal course. And I carried the tree. I took a pretty aggressive line in and went right over the tree and I gave myself a look at birdie 
not close enough to give this to me, but I can make back that first stroke. Probably we're just gonna go for a par here. Okay, didn't get it there, but we'll take the par, COVID-19. So, the actual architects of this course, it was designed in 1924, are William Locke and Sam Whitening. And for those that don't know, which I didn't actually know, between the two of them, they've designed Lake Merced, City Club in San Francisco, the Olympic Club, as well as TPC Harding Park. So for a municipal course in Sacramento that's $20, pretty great lineage of architecture to put together a course. And what, what's tricky about this hole is, if you look to your right, there's a bunch of crap, and the T or the hole is typically behind those trees. But if you go too far left, there's water. So you have to kind of position it. It's an Alistair McKenzie hole. It's all about where you position the ball to give yourself a chance to score. So this is an element of this course is it's really at a public park. And if you can see, there's the public park right there. If you turn the camera around, you're gonna see I got the craziest shot ever. I put myself in a good spot on the far left. I gotta work it from the left to right, which that's sketchy when you're not a pro golfer because it's just really tough. And there's a big scary bunker to my right. There's a bunch of trees. It's just a lot that can go wrong. So we're going up to my ball. If you look up here, my ball is nestled between these two bunkers. Didn't really get the ball. I thought I struck it good. Maybe I did a half swing on it. Maybe the wind got it. I don't know. This is a hole where I can get away missing to the left and to the right. So hopefully that pays off. First shot on the fairway today, and I'm about, I don't know, 130 yards in with a false front. As usual, something to know about this course is every hole, if you come up short, you're probably in a bunker. So both sides don't come up short, and I believe there's a street behind you. So this is definitely a course where you want, gotta be able to get the ball in the air, but you've also gotta know the number that you're hitting on your club. It's another one short. I'm just not striking the ball that well on my approach shots. Kind of the weakness of my game in general is I really struggle hitting greens. So. Sticklers, you gotta finish out. We're trying to stay healthy. I'm taking that one. That was a really good chip. Good job, Luke. Oh, if it had been straight, it would have been decent, but I hit it off the toe. And now I gotta get creative. These balls are not running very far today. I hit a low shot under that tree and I thought it was gonna run like anything. And it stopped right here. But we got a chance to get up and down. I still don't have a grr in my round, a green and regulation. Grr. That's another one where I think we can pick up. That's a tap in, probably that was a makeable chip, but that's fine. We're doing really good considering we haven't hit a single green in regulation. William Land is a really tricky park, and check out these trees. Like this, this is really nice. This is a really hard hole. This is kind of like the kryptonite for the weekend golfer, myself included. It's about, probably about 180, I'm winging it. A purely straight distance shot where you have to fly it 
if you miss right, like pretty much everyone that plays golf that's an orthodox fighter, or orthodox golfer, my bad, you're gonna miss to the right. It's just purely distance control and putting a good stroke on it. Well, I put a good stroke on it and I missed it out to the left, which is fine. So, not a bad shot. I'm actually pretty happy with where my ball ended up. I just caught the rough. And if you look, this is a really tricky green. They, they've protected it with the bunker and it's just a hard green to get at. I just missed to the left to be safe and it just so happens where the pin is and the way the green is. You just don't really have a shot unless you fly it in there. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Now we're gonna hit this shot. So we have a four footer, we have a four footer, and I've been giving myself a lot of putts, so we're just gonna drain this one to prove that these are really gimmies. When you play the eighth hole at William Land Park in Sacramento, you might say to yourself in the tee box, where's the hole? Well, the hole is all the way up there to the left, and you got like, this is kind of like a, not to compare it to St. Andrews, but it is kind of like what St. Andrews or what people say St. Andrews is like, where they have this hidden bunker right here, and then you got some telephone wires going through, which is very Lynx style golf, where there's deception and just random stuff. Got it a little, a little fat. I didn't put a good stroke on it, but that's gonna be fun. Okay, let's see, that could be good. I like it. So we put that up there about 10 feet or so. We're going for the birdie. Well, that'll be a par. As I mentioned before, some of the charm of this course is that it's interwoven between a public park. It is part of a public park. It's designed in 1924 which makes it nearly 100 years old, which that alone is pretty cool. But check this out, we're crossing another street to get back to where we started because this is just a nine holer. And as you look around, people are walking all around you because it's a park, it's fun. And I think a lot of people forget that about golf is that golf's actually fun. And I did what I did last time. I missed it to the right, and that is a hard, 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 hard shot. So, okay, so I didn't really hit a good tee shot. I went under there, but we made the most of it. We hit a little low runner, and now we gotta get up and down, a one over par, score here is not a bad score at all and we've really had to work hard and show off our short game not striking the ball from the fairway at all well but that's kind of usual so i think that can count as a gimme in covid19 my chipping was on today that was a pretty good chip as you can see right here that's a one, two, that's a three footer. So that was my round. I really hope you appreciate this video. I hope that you enjoy it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the video. And we will be back next Thursday with another golf vlog.